Hello everyone, today we're doing a video on the Black Blade Kindreds and the Valiant Gargoyles. This is a really interesting topic that I haven't seen actually seen anyone talk about yet, so I thought why not? So I've spent from so I've been looking through the lore and I've found some quite interesting stuff about them. So yeah, let's get into the video. Also, spoilers ahead. <laughs> In the Elden Ring lore, there's a lot it's talked about a lot about the conjunction of bodies, grafting gathering corpses to, to fuel your own strength like with the jars where they take bodies into their own jars so they can then nourish the minor erd trees in the erd tree as you see in game and through Alexander's quest line but with the gargoyles they're a little bit different the gargoyles are made from different champions like that like that but they don't take them into their body no they actually they guard different places and the re my evidence for them being combined together is the well there's two different versions of this text for the both the black blade kindreds weapons and the valiant gargoyles weapons the valiant gargoyles weapons read blonde blonde Bronze twin blade wielded by valiant gargoyles. Just like the wielder, the missing parts have been mended with corpse corpse wax, a patchwork of champions. So that adds that. But also, you can find even more lore about this in the skill, skill, spinning slash, skill favoured by dexterous warriors. If you want even more proof, in the Ash of War, spinning slash, it does say skill favoured by dexterous warriors. Now it says warriors, not warrior, so that implies that it was multi it's made up of multiple dexterous people. Now all the gargoyle, well the valiant gargoyle weapons are the same except for the gargoyle's great sword, which has a different ash of war dialogue. It says lost skill of ancient heroes, so they weren't just warriors. They were heroes as well that made up these gargoyles. It makes you wonder who who these ancient warriors were, or these ancient and ancient hero, heroes. I believe that the valiant gargoyles and the black blade kindreds were made by the greater will or Marika to protect or keep something away from their golden order. For example, where they are positioned. The Valiant Gargoyle twin bosses that you fight right behind their boss arena after you finish, you can there's a prompt to get inside a coffin, very similar to how you get into Nitos in De in Dark Souls 1. But besides the point, once you get in, in, into it, you get teleported to the Dark Root Depths. When you the Dark Root Depths are home to a the version of Godwin that's the who lives in death with no soul and has been transformed into a massive creature the it's basically that's where fierce quest line progresses down there but the valiant gargoyles look like they they're waiting on top of the hill waiting for someone to come in here maybe this a known entrance they were got placed there to make sure nothing gets out another place is in the capital now i don't have footage for this place because i'm more i'm already past the where I can actually enter the capital but I can tell you what there is basically there's there's one there's two valiant gargoyles here there's one going up the steps to the up the steps outside the capital and there's one that's actually in there in the capital it's basically when you go up well basically it's next to a golden seed there's a gargo valiant gargoyle there so yeah, they're protecting it. There's also little ones that look like they've been half destroyed, like they're on their knees, or they haven't got legs. So they're stationary, and they shoot out perfumer um, fire bombs. So that's so obviously they're there protecting the capital. So that also adds even more to the law that they're there to protect. Now we're going to go on to the Black Blade Kindreds. At some point in history, Queen Marika the Eternal gifted her half-brother and shadow a few Valiant Gargoyles. We know of two inside the game, but there possibly could have been more. When we defeat one of the Gargoyles, we get their weapons. The Gargoyles Black Blade states, Bronze Greatsword, wielded by Valiant Gargoyles, mended with blackened corpse wax, deals holy damage. 
such is the mark of those who serve Malekith the Black Blade. The difference between the Valiant Gargoyles and the Black Blade Kindreds is of two things. One, they are coated in blackened corpse wax, as you can see from their designs. But two, they also wield the power of death, like, and God slaying weapons, like, the Godskin Apostles and the Godskins. The reason I believe they wield the power of death is because of the corpse wax cutter or inscription. It's only slightly different, but what it says is lift the saw up high to release a power of corpse wax and launch it towards as launch it forwards as a blade like projectile. Now this if we're talking about it talks about corpse wax here as a a thing that allows it to unleash this death attack that shortens your HP bar like Malekith does in his final in his second phase. Now we don't know much about corpse wax, but what we do know is it helped create the gargoyles, or the valiant gargoyles, the black black kindreds, the weapons. It also we also know that it mentions this corpse wax in the items that allow us to place red summon signs down to return to our own worlds after to, well, to send someone home or we send ourselves home to put a summon sign down on the floor so what the real question is what else does this corpse wax entail be warned this little bit is on the theory side of things but from some of the lore that people have discovered in game on YouTube, it's that the Glomide Queen, the root, she was the original holder of the Rune of Death. Whether she was the Rune of Death, or she just held it like Malekith did, does, I'm not sure. But what we do know is that the Black Flame Monks and the Godskins betrayed the Glomide Queen and joined up with Malekith before defeating her and taking away her powers. Now the theory, the running theory is that Melina is the Glomide Queen, and that when we do the Lord of Frenzied Flame ending, she gets her power back as she opens her eyes again. That's been her powers that have been sealed away. That is the running theory. But imagine if the reason why there's only two Valiant Gargoyles or Black Blade Kindred is because they were all destroyed except for two. That 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 are guarding two very important places. One is guarding Malakath himself and the bestial sanctum, and another is guarding the the lift of rolls, which leads us to either the Halig tree or with the secret medallion or the mountain top of giants, which is forbidden land by decree of the Golden Order. And that's about all the lore we actually have about the Valiant Gargoyles and the Black Blade Kindreds. I believe probably, pre-Shattering and in the Aid of the Earth Tree, there are more present force. But now, post-Shattering, in the age we inhabit now, they've been dwindled down, broken, and with no one else to repair them, well, nobody alive that can repair them. They're, that's probably how it's going to continue. And that is the end of the video now, everyone. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, please tell me down below how garbage my videos are and what I can pr improve upon for future content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.